Hi friends, today uh, I'm going to show you a, a video on doing a data modeling, okay, using a real life use case. So uh, when yesterday when I uh, when I was browsing my laptop, I found this ticket. So I thought, you know, why don't I use a movie ticket for doing a data modeling for this use case, okay, because it's a real life use case and uh, we, we can see how we can design a database system for capturing ticket booking okay so this is the ticket which i booked sometime in june okay so let's see how uh, we can do a simple uh, database modeling for this okay so let's get into the step-by-step -step approach the first approach in a data modeling is capturing the raw data so what all the data that we could extract from the ticket so from the ticket you know we could see the booking id so here if you see the booking id or the confirmation id both are the same and then date is there date and time show time is there and the cinema hall and the locality right and the movie name so these are the uh, uh, amounts there are different amounts and then and booking date and time what time i booked and what is a payment method and also who booked so i booked right so because i know the information so all this information is just captured so you see here cinema hall is you know rd1 uh, okay and uh, this rd1 rd1 is not showing here but it is showing in my mobile so i just added that uh, screen number also and the seats there are three seats right so all this information i just captured without thinking anything about the database so only capturing the raw format and second step is second step is single cell containing multi values so i think here the key is multi valued okay so the multi values are either moved to a separate column or separate row for example uh, the movie so i had kept a screen cinema locality and the city everything in a single cell so in a database right we need to keep keep uh, uh, them in a separate cell so that you know we can track them we can query them so it will be useful so in a single cell we should not have multi value right similarly the seats i had kept all three seats in a sing, uh, in a single cell f12 comma f13 comma f13 but i'm moving them to f12 f13 f14 as a separate records because these three are three different tickets right so that's why i kept it them as a separate okay so whereas the separate uh, uh, the separate screen related additional information i'm just capturing as a separate uh, column because they all related to ticket ticket related whereas this one it's more of a seat which is one level below the uh, ticket and the total amount is something that we can delete because we can always compute based on if you add with these three we will always get this total amount okay so that is something that i, I am deleting other uh, things i am just keeping it for the moment in step two in step two what i am doing is i am moving the so what records with the different level of details are moved into separate table for example ticket is one and one ticket can have three ticket three seats or five seats or ten seats right so in this case three seats so because the grain is different grain means the level right within a ticket it's a it's more of a child right one ticket can have three seats five seats so one class have multiple students like that right so the level the level of details are different the grain they say in database uh, terminology or granularity so it's different so that's why i'm moving them into a separate table so i'm keeping a separate table with a reference for example booking id reference will be there so that at any point of time we can always refer okay these seats were booked for against this book id okay we can always find and i am also taking one serial number kind of uh, no column that i am adding one two three just to capture one two three first seat second seat third seat and these are the seat number f12 f13 f14 and also the price i uh, previously if you remember it was 574 and it is basically for three seats right so i am splitting into each seat so that at any point of time at, at a per ticket information also we can get in database and whenever we need at a ticket level we can always group by 
we can we can aggregate we can sum to get the total okay so this is what i have done in the second step so second step is separating out the level of details into separate tables and third step is attributes which are so here you see attributes which are dependent on non primary id column can be moved to a separate master table it's ex example cinema and cinema screen related attributes for example here in the previous example if you see we had rd uh, grand mall valacheri chennai so if you see these three columns all are related to the screen right they are not nowhere directly related to the ticket they are related through screen since these additional attributes are are uh, of uh, screen right which are related uh, to the ticket only through screen id we can always relate from a, it from a separate table also so that's why we can as well move these four columns into a uh, separate table called screen master right cinema screen kind of table that we can have we can have rd1 and then rd2 rd3 so like that if, if the mall cinema hall has four uh, theaters then we can have four records right so then the cinema uh, cinema screen can always uh, no, we, if you want to find all the cinema theaters in this mall, we can find if they are all related to um, where, where locality, Velacheri, then we can find, right? So all the theaters in Velacheri, all the theaters in Chennai, we will be able to do roll up and aggregation at the various level we will be able to do with this approach. And also <coughs> from normalization point of view also. So this is uh, the, these were not directly related to these attributes were not directly related to ticket. They were always related through ticket. So it's better to create their screen attributes. They are not ticket attributes. They are screen attributes. So the screen attributes can be moved to a screen table. That's what I, I have done here. And the step four is uh, if any if an attribute can have its own additional attribute, then it has to be treated as a separate dimension or separate master table okay for example movie and customer if you see movie has its own movie name movie duration and uh, you know um, so many other info attributes are there for a movie because many times we will have to do analysis on movie right based on movie how many tickets sold and all this information so because of which i am moving it to a separate table okay and i am just keeping movie id here Okay, so that uh, we can do analysis uh, based on this. And then uh, for customer, customer also booked by I had kept, right? So booked by is a person name I kept uh, Ravi Shankar. So the person will have various attribute. For example, uh, my uh, name, my name, uh, the person, customer's name and mobile number, email ID and the customer's age group and customer's uh, no, gender so so many factors right so we can keep adding so that we can do related analysis or even for capturing right capturing is also good uh, we can we can capture always additional um, uh, attributes right so we can treat this as a separate dimension so that is what i have done here and then the final diagram so i'm just putting everything together so putting everything together is yes, ticket booking is the main header table and ticket seat details are the detail table. So you see one ticket can have multiple seats. That's what this refers to. One ticket can have many seats. So many records in this table. Okay. Similarly, uh, one ticket belongs to a movie. But one movie can have multiple tickets. So that is what is one to many relationship. It is from this side. Okay. So one to many from this side. Similarly, one ticket um, uh, can be booked uh, against a, a cinema uh, screen, right? So one cinema screen have multiple. Let's say if there is a 500 seat for the show, basically there will be you know, maximum 500 seats. So like that, it can have multi multiple uh, tickets for uh, so one to many relationship is this side. Similarly, one customer can have can book multiple uh, tickets right so over a period of time 
other for over a period of time he can show or the uh, right same day maybe morning show different shows he can book for different theaters so this is how we uh, uh, this is a one to many relationship right so further we can do snowflake so i haven't gone to snowflake i'm just keeping it star scheme at this point of time right so we can just go further for example uh, the locality i can move to a separate table or city i can move to a different i can further extend this to as a parent of cinema screen right so that is something that i uh, we can do so like that you know there are various uh, even for movie right for example if it is if you want to do further you uh, know like hollywood bollywood mollywood right so uh, bollywood kind of for uh, the thing analysis then i can do further right uh, as a snowflake that i can do so like that i can keep extending this model but right now i'm just keeping this as a small model just to see where we started so we started is from here taking a looking at a, a ticket so how we can do a data model for capturing this uh, transaction as well as for doing some level of analytics okay so that is where i just wanted to uh, stop uh, i hope uh, this video is useful to you and i uh, know you are able to relate right how um, we can do data model for using simple use cases real life use cases especially and um, how we can go by a step by step approach okay